That's a, that's a fish. That is. Oh, it's so epic, dude. That is crazy. Oh! So look at these parasites. Four different types of fish traps. That, that right there is a good old mix of bait. Oh, fish are everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Got some fish. Oh my gosh. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We are on an island. This right here is where we slept last night. Great spot, by the way. Red ants on our feet. Mosquitoes biting us, regardless of the tent. It was. I slept great. What about you? I slept terrible. <laughs> I barely slept. <laughs> Boat got beached last night. We had it tied off, and the tide dropped. So it's now on the beach. What are you doing, Brenton? Trying to get it back in the water. <laughs> it's. It, it was. It was a process getting all this equipment to the beach. We're here at the Depot of Home. We all love Home Depot, right, Brenton? My favorite place on the planet. I could probably work here better than most of the employees. Partial owners in the Home Depot franchise. I do quite well here. I just owned, uh, I just bought 40% of the company. This is what we need to make the pool pond, of course. We always have a border around the pool pond, and we only need two of them. There we are. Yeah, just two, just just two, Brenton. Oh, oh, you already put one in here. Yeah. What else do we need for this? Uh, plants. We need plants. some greenery. Plants. Do we want greenery or should we find stuff I on the island? I think we should island? find stuff instead of buying it. I agree. One, because Switch of, it up a little bit. Uh, intentional ROI purposes on these videos. I think you should not spend <laughs> And, bro, imagine trying to take two giant plants on a little dinghy that we only have so much room on. Land! Survival challenge. You're underway. you <laughs> How many do we need? Well, how, you, how big do you want it to be? You want it to be like that big? Oh, and I got zip ties at home, so literally just need this and uh, and the zip ties. It's all we need for a homemade trap that's gonna compete against three other fish traps. Yeah. It's not blue, but it's pink. I think this still could do the job. What is that inside of it? Catch it. <laughs> no, it's all. Oh. We got a pink be pool. careful. Yo, yo. <laughs> Where's the bug spray? It's the only thing I care about. It's all I need. All right. Buy every single one of them. Ra, 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 ra. We've made it on the water, boys and girls. Oh, snap, Brenton. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at, look at the skies. What a beautiful night, huh? Oh, Brenton. Would you like to give them a tour of our tent? Yeah. My MTV house tour. House Sorry, tour. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> no, this is uh, our octagon shaped tent. Good chance it falls over because we really didn't properly set anything up. Not a single bit. <laughs> but if you come around this way, and this is the front door, you wouldn't notice because it blends in with the other sides. Too uh, sandy, but I doubt that's gonna happen. This so where's our, our bed? Uh, that's supposed to be a bed, but it's not inflating, so. <laughs> we uh, we don't have a bed. <laughs> we have no beds. And uh, yeah, we're doing like a whole survival challenge. Yeah, Brenton's making a video on that. Yeah, it's not going well. It's not going well at all. Probably enough of our house. Yeah, it's, right? that's, that's the house. Hope you like it. Let's just hope we catch a shark. That would make the night. We got our shark rod here. This is the anonymous shark rod. As you can see, we have duct taped over all logos available. We got the shark rod, a big old circle hook. Look at the size of the circle hook. Lots of wire. If the fish want to be picky, we got a big mono leader as well. But down beneath our rod, our baby bonita. These right here are bonita. It's a great bait for pretty much anything in the dang ocean. Every, <laughs> everything eats them. So we're just gonna get a nice machete cut right here. We can use this for about two, but the head is gonna be our best bet. Right through. And that is why fish love them. That's solid tuna meat. This is in the tuna family, it's not a tuna. These don't taste like tuna from what I hear at least, but some people do eat them. Have you tried them? I have not, oh. no, no. But I do know people that have, and they say they're pretty good. Some say they're garbage. That's a big bait, that's what we're using? Oh yeah. This is the, the whole bait. thing? The yeah, whole thing. Oh my, yeah, that's bro. gonna be a big shark. Oh yeah, these are big fish, man. Get it up in that mouth, <clears throat> right through. And that, that right there is our shark bait. Now we can catch pretty much anything out here. Lemons are probably more common out here, and uh, yeah, lots of different species, so be ready for whatever it's gonna eat this big old bait. 
Gotta send her out. A little further. Drop her in. She's in. Ready? Yep. We know We're gonna kind of lift up as he goes. Got something? Yeah, we got something. <laughs> oh, dude, first bait out. I don't know what it is. What is this, bro? I don't know what we have. Once it starts pulling drag well now. I'm not sure what had that. You can see some marks right here on this side. Yeah, so. like it, I never felt it get pulled, but. Okay, do we just close it? Yeah. Okay. Run. Run back. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. Just keep running, keep running. <laughs> We're running. <laughs> Are we like, what, 20 minutes into the night? <laughs> it's been like 20 minutes. That's what the last one felt like. Same thing. Dude, oh. I don't understand. Last one felt the same way. There's just a bunch of, like, it's heavy on the end, but there's not anything swimming. It's not like running. No. It was just taking off. Uh, you heard it. Like, like go faster. Like, start peeling quicker. All right. Okay, let's try it. Go. But that tension's still there. That's still there. Do you know what's crazy is I felt like the... I'm going to go out there and get him. Oh, oh Paul, Paul, no, Paul, 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 Paul. You can't get a shark. Oh, my. There was a shark there for a second. It, it just came back and started pulling, and now it stopped again. I don't. I'm about to piece of shark up. I've never done that before, but I'm down to try. Vincent, calm down. It's just on the phone, and the shark starts running, and then I have to get off look, the look, phone. Look, 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 look. That's a, that's a fish. That is. Don't worry, I got but no, you. No, it's stuck on something. If there's a wreck out there, and that's why our line keeps going. It's getting stuck in that rip. Look, you see that? Yeah. That's a fish. Oh my God, it's pulling Paul. Oh. Paul just disappeared. Hold on. Can we get in the boat and chase it? <laughs> you wanna? Let's get in the boat. Well, we're gonna get in the boat and chase the fish. Oh Paul. God. I need a headlamp. I need a bunch of stuff. All right, I'll sit on the front. Okay. Don't worry, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get intense. <laughs> Come on, baby mama. I need you to start and I need you to start right now. <laughs> Come on, oh. we're on. I just want to find where he's at. He might just be stuck around a tree and once we get that out. That's why the line's all frayed. Yep. It's stuck on something right there. Oh, okay, come on. I'm a good captain, I promise. I won't I won't hit something and split us in half. Come on. I thought, wait, don't turn on the engine. I'm not in control. It's off, it's off, it's off. Oh, my. Go straight, brother. There you go. I'm throwing it we got it now, boys. We got it now. Look at this. Quarter south. We're going to hit one G. We're going. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Guys, how are we going to land a shark in the boat? We're driving this thing back to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming up on it. Yep. We're coming up on it. What are you? Why is it so scary? I don't know. It's we like Jaws in real life. Okay. It honestly oh, is, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Black that shark. is a shark. The black tip. Dude, let's bring this thing back to the beach and get the hook out of him. All right. Oh, it's so epic, dude. That is crazy. Oh! He's all tired. This is Clark the shark. We have named him. Uh, he is very tired. Do you approve of this name? I do like that name. <laughs> there he is, right here. Look how There's sick the shark. Dude, the shark. look at that. Come here, Clark. Isn't that crazy how oh, shallow he can get? Oh. oh, that whipped me. Jeez. All right, Clark is, we're currently getting the hook out of him. There's another one that broke. There's another one that broke off and is stuck in him. We're going to take that out too. Right, I can get this other one out. Check it out. Hook is out. Holy. Look at these parasites. Can you see those? Yeah. Hook them right off. Get off. How crazy is that? Oh, oh my god. Look gosh. at that thing. Oh. Get off of him! Get off of him! Get off of Clark! <laughs> die! 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 He's taking the liberty of going back in the water by himself. Clark is doing. That's the honestly doggy. so impressive. He just did the doggy. So we removed our hook, another hook we found in him, and two parasites. Yeah, I say we did Clark a big favor there. Regardless, last night was a journey to say the least. But now we're caught up, we're back here, and I've got some supplies that I got for today's video. First, we gotta get this boat back into the water. So, I'm gonna set you up right here. 
Oh yeah. I've got four fish traps in front of me. That's right, not one, not two, not three, four. Four different types of fish traps, and I'm gonna send each one of them out with different baits inside of them, which I bought all types of baits for this. Sand fleas. Oh yeah. Of course, what every fish loves, shrimp. And last but not least, sardines. We only need a little bag like that. Each one of these, yes, will have a different bait in it. I want you to let me know which one you think is gonna have the most fish by the time we pick it up, and this is what we're going to stock our beach pond with. Trap number one, the pinfish. Trap number two, I'm gonna call this PC Aquatic because this is the one we're gonna actually be selling on PC Aquatics, dot shop. Trap number three, Brenton, give me a name. Mima Sauce Latte. Mima Sauce Latte. <laughs> and trap number four, we're just gonna name DIY because we had just built this one at the house before we left. That once was a chicken feeder. <laughs> no, it's not. Thank you, Hector. Now it's straight through. We got a pretty good variety of fish traps here. Brenton, which one do you think it's gonna win? I'm not gonna lie, the, the PC Aquatics one looks- It's like, kinda sick, right? It, it probably looks the best out of all of them. It's got a lot of different holes in the enter. You obviously put your bait in right there. And look at this. It's got a lot of nice big entry holes. Little zipper, fold it up. Take it to go, you know? And you can fly with your fish trap. Exactly, Damn. that's disgusting. Yeah, the bait has been sitting out. In the back of the boat overnight. All night. I spent $14 on these little fillets when we could literally use an a whole bonita. This fish is what these fillets are. If we have a whole fish, we might as well use a whole fish. I don't like how you're starting this off. Stop. Stop. Ooh, oh, my ooh. God. oh my goodness. Yo. Yo. <laughs> that was smooth, bro. Tell you what, whatever I put this in has an advantage. That smells rancid. So the PC aquatic one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think this small trap could handle such a magnitude of bait? Ooh, PC aquatic trap could handle anything. Okay. Trap number one, done. That's our little pouch for bait. Zipper close. Now check that out. Bait's inside dripping that nastiness. All the smells going through the water. That's bait trap number two. Two. These are called sand fleas. They actually are found in what we're standing in, sand. Could you guess it? They're a crazy <laughs> species. I'll show you one of them here in a second. It's like a little sand beetle. Just a bonita head going in. This trap's got a lot. That, that right there is a good old mix of bait. If anyone's winning, I believe it's that, but you never know. They might know it's a trap because it's so many options. Oh. DIY trap. We know these work in the past. We've done a lot of these. Full sardines, these are big old sardines. Check this out. One of the best baits out in the ocean. If you can catch these live and keep them alive in your well. Sardines get that big? Oh dude, this is a sardine right here. How old do you think that sardine is? I put that in there too. <laughs> yeah, I wanna put this in there. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how long. Look, this imagine been that alive. to the sardines in the can, you know? Oh yeah, these are big baby mamas. We catch these out in the ocean here. Take a look inside there. Some big baits, you know? We're not really playing around with this one. Gosh, if we're attracting anything, we've got the fish surrounding this beach. We're chumming the waters, boys. Chumming the waters. I see fish all over the place. Look at the baby barracudas. Oh my gosh. Baby barracudas. I'm putting a second trap right there. Bro, there's fish everywhere. Look how many fish are on that shrimp right there, just tearing it apart. We're gonna tie them off to that buoy and have all the traps in like a little circle just full of bait. Which one will catch the most? That's to come. I already have fish in this trap. Seriously? Yeah, I could see them all already. I'm gonna put that there. Now we wait on the island and we build our beach pond until those traps hopefully have fish to stock our beach pond. This is an awesome video. We forgot a key necessity. What? A shovel. And buckets. And buckets. Oh. How are we supposed to get water into the pool pond? <sighs> we made it work. We filled it up and then drug it up. We're gonna use these as we always do, as a little nice beautiful border. It's a little seawall. Check this out. Just found a big old blue crab. Unfortunately, he's not alive anymore. But what a cool crab. Check out those claws. Ready to bite ya. <laughs> now that our pool pond is totally set up and our traps are out in the water, now we just gotta wait. Hopefully our fish traps catch some fish to stock up our pool pond on an abandoned island. 
two hours later. Oh, fish are everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. We got some fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got oh my some gosh, fish. we did. Oh yeah, we got some fish. Okay. Real question is, what trap has the most in the couple hour span that was in the water? We, by the way, totally disassembled camp here. Made sure we didn't leave any trash. No trash was left on the beach, because we're leaving. We've been here for over 24 hours. It's been a long day. We have fish, what am I talking about? My goodness. My God, you really do. We do have fish. All right, so these are little tiny sand perch. They're also known as Mahara. Let me get them very quick. No, no. no. All right, well, one got away. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. These guys are crazy. And their favorite food is shrimp, hence why that trap got the best of them. That right there is a Mahara. They have this long mouth. See that come down like that? Here we go. See ya, buddy. We didn't get skunked, but we didn't catch enough fish for... Fall, 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 fall. Oh. Oh. We didn't catch enough fish for our pool pond. Just got me a little frustrated, that's all. Oh! Well, Brenton, I guess that's what happens when you make real videos, right? Yeah, you know, we don't have to go out and catch baby sharks and put them in the... <laughs> the DIY fish trap was full of sardines and bonita. Bigger fish I expected to go in here. That's probably why we didn't get any. This one I really thought was going to be good, but I think the problem with this fish trap, it's a cool fish trap. The fish just have a hard time seeing and wanting to get to the bait when they, they literally can't see it. If that makes sense. It's in this little pouch, but they can't see that, you know? The PC Aquatics trap probably didn't catch anything because... We threw like a shark bait inside of it. <laughs> and of course, last but not least, the good old pinfish trap. This trap is uh, one of the most well-known. You've seen me use this before. This thing is actually meant for specifically catching fish just like it did. Look how much bait was in there. That's why it won. You put so much in there. <laughs> That's exactly why it won. Pinfish trap takes the W. Actually, if you roll it back one time, say that you thought this one was gonna win when you put the bait in. I did. If anyone's winning, I believe it's that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's just sitting it's at like a, a bench. TED talk. Yeah. We found this bench on the island. Some of us have dropped it off. Um, but thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed these challenge videos on island, click the like button, smash it for me, and we'll come back and do something even crazier. Unfortunately, we didn't catch enough fish for the pool pond, which I would have loved to do. But like I said, when you make uh, real videos, sometimes it doesn't go as planned. And that's that. The camp is completely disassembled, like we said. We're gonna get back in our boat and get the heck off this island. Please. You boys ready to shower and clean up and lay down and sleep for the next 48 hours? <laughs> Peace out, Kaparos. What? Waiting on a bite. Oh. Oh. Uh-uh. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I'll give you that. Pan. Did that do? What is on it? I don't know. What is that? Is that lighter fluid on our <laughs> eating pan? I hope not. <laughs> no, this shouldn't be. It might be. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Yeah. PC Aquatic. It's really Dot cool. Shop. Dot shop. Not coming coming soon. Put your email in the description so when it goes live, you're notified. Anyway. Hey.